Have you ever heard the pulse of planet Earth? Did you know our planet vibrates, resonates to the beat of a ceaseless pulse? Welcome to one of the most fascinating mysteries of science, the Schumann Resonances. Our planet is not a silent object floating in space. In fact, it's singing a constant song that can only be heard with the right tools. So, what exactly are these resonances? Simply put, they are very low frequency vibrations that occur in the space between Earth and the ionosphere. The electrically charged atmospheric layer that envelops our planet. This phenomenon, known as the Schumann resonances, was first predicted in 1952 by German physicist Winfried Otto Schumann. However, Nikola Tesla was the first to observe it as such. While its first representation was given in 1960 by Martin Balzer and Charles Wagner, what causes these vibrations? Well, thunder, lightning, and electrical storms occurring worldwide are responsible for these vibrations, generating electromagnetic waves that get trapped between the Earth and the ionosphere. These waves bounce back and forth, creating the resonance that bears Schumann's name. Although these vibrations are too low for humans to hear, every beat, every pulse, every wave resonates with a frequency of around 7. 83 Hz, sometimes referred to as the fundamental frequency of Earth. The Schumann resonance has been of vital importance in various aspects of human development one of them being climate monitoring by analyzing the variables of its peaks. Schumann reacts to lightning so storms can be detected and even predicted by these variables. What's happening with this resonance? In the past, it was found that these waves vibrate at the same frequency as the brain waves of humans and mammals. That is, 7, 8 hertz per second. In the last eight years, it was evidence that the resonance increased from 7, 8 hertz to 12 hertz after remaining so for thousands of years. Some research points out that the ERs is making its presence felt in an accelerated step in time, so we are no longer living 24 hours, but only 16 hours a day. In the last few hours, it has been reported that the waves within the Schumann resonance, which usually stay at 7, 8 A's, have been aligning. And this is where things get really fascinating, because 7. 83C is also a frequency found in us, humans. It's a frequency associated with alpha brain waves, which occur in the brain during states of relaxation and meditation. So, does this mean we are in tune with our planet in some mysterious and profound way? Could it be that the Earth with its constant pulsing is influencing our health, our behavior, perhaps even our consciousness? Let's continue on this journey of discovery as we explore these questions and much more as we dive into the mysterious world of Schumann Resonances. Are you ready to tune in to the heartbeat of our planet? Recently, Schumann Resonances have been attracting more attention than ever. As our lives become increasingly digital, more and more people are looking for ways to reconnect with the natural rhythm of our planet. The most recent studies, some of them conducted in recent years, suggest that these resonances could have subtle but significant effects on our health and well-being. A study published in 2021 in the journal Scientific Reports found that exposure to frequencies similar to the human resonance can improve memory and attention in humans. But it's not just humans who might be affected by these phenomena. A 2023 study published in Nature suggests that bees may also be sensitive to human resonances. Bees, as we know, are crucial to our survival, as they play a vital role in the pollination of our plants. Could it be that these tiny insects are, in some way, tuned into the planet's heartbeat? But what happens to these resonances as our climate changes? According to a recent study from Oxford University, global warming could be affecting Schumann resonances. As temperatures rise and electrical storms become more intense, these changes could alter the vibrations between Earth and the ionosphere. If this is true, it could have profound implications for everything from our satellite communications to our own health and well-being. 
Have you ever considered how climate change might affect something as fundamental as our planet's vibration? Well, recent science suggests we might be facing an intriguing phenomenon. As we've learned, these resonances play a crucial role, not just in our global communications, but also in our own health and well-being. How does this happen? If our own biologies are in some way synced with these resonances, as some studies suggest, then changes in these frequencies could impact our health and well-being. We could see changes in everything from our sleep patterns to our ability to concentrate. But as with many aspects of climate change, there's still much we don't know. Schumann resonances are a constantly evolving field of research, and scientists are working hard to unravel their mysteries. Are you intrigued to learn more about how climate change may be affecting our planet's vibration and what that could mean for us? Join us on our next episode where we'll delve deeper into the latest research and what they mean for our future. Can we adapt to a world changing not only in its climate but also in its fundamental vibration? Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. Schumann resonances are a fascinating and constantly evolving area of research, and there's much more to learn about this amazing phenomenon. But one thing is for sure. Our planet is alive and vibrating, resonating with a tune that, though we can't hear, we can feel in ways we're only just beginning to understand. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you want to know what relation the Schumann resonance could have had with the implosion of the Titan submarine, watch our next video and discover more secrets of our astonishing universe.